Now, we, we, we've started off this talking about how it's such a laddy thing. Liz West is now on the line, and I've spoken to Liz in the past. Morning, Liz. Hello, Liz. Hello. And Liz, we've spoken in the past. You have a large collection, don't you? Yes, certainly do, definitely. In fact, it's probably the world's largest collection of Spice Girls memorabilia. Guinness approved, definitely is. Guinness approved, the world's largest collection of Spice Girls. No, but but the, you know, what we heard from earlier on was you start collecting stuff because you like it, and that's exactly why you started, isn't it? It was a passion to start off with. I was first and foremost a fan of the group, um, but it turned into, obviously, this mad collection, which has gone on now for 15 years, so, yeah. And what, what kind of stuff have you got in there? Because you've not just got kind of pictures of them on the front of Just 17. You've got, you've got dresses and stuff, haven't you? Yeah, I've got quite a lot of stage costumes that the girls actually wore on stage for um, red carpet events, movie premieres, so... It's quite interesting, the diversity. I've also got some Spice Girl biscuits. And Spice Girl biscuits? How old are they? Um, about 14 years. Oh. I wouldn't want to eat them. Oh, my word. Now, listen, how do you how do, you do this? Because, you know, we, we, let's not start doing anything as crass as talking about how much stuff costs, but if you want to buy one of Jerry's dresses, it's, it's, it's going to cost you a few bob, isn't it? It's, it's quite interesting, actually. If you've... If you know where to look in the right places, you can get things reasonably cheaply. I mean, I was telling a friend the other day that I got one of Jerry's dresses for £400, and he was quite surprised. He thought it would be worth way more. And, of course, I have had things that were way more, but I think it swings and roundabouts. So you have to spend your time looking. We heard from uh, Nick Banks earlier on who wanted to start collecting Now That's What I Call Music. And he said said that he thought that... um, uh, eBay had spoiled things for collectors because it's just all there. No, no way. eBay has improved things for collectors. Um, I love it. I mean, it's where I used to spend quite a lot of my time trawling through every day. Obviously, now I have a life. <laughs> <laughs> that as much. Um, but no, eBay's opened up doors to so many collectors. That's how I first started buying the stage costumes and one-offs. Before that, I had no idea where I could have got things like that from, so... It's been excellent for me. What about things like autographs? I mean, I'm, I'm guessing you've got the girls' autographs. Yeah. yeah. Are, 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 are they expensive to get? No. I think because the five girls are still alive, they're, they're producing autographs on a daily basis for fans, and there's a lot of autograph hunters that do go out and get signatures for the purpose just to sell on places like eBay. Which is indeed why a lot of people, more and more people who I work with, who come to our festivals and stuff, aren't doing autographs. Yeah, no, I have, I have known that, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of that now, you know. Because people say, no, it's just going on eBay. You know, because they look up to you with just a card, mm. a blank card to sign that, and a lot of people won't. But I don't, I don't agree with signing blank cards because what what's happening is people are making frame displays with yeah. a, a photograph and the signature on the blank card all mounted, and it it's not only is it tacky, but for me as a collector, I wouldn't want to buy that. I want a promo photo or an album cover signed. Um, for me, that's more genuine anyway. Now, Liz, are you still collecting? Are you still actively buying? Yes. Yeah. What's the what's the last thing that, that you need to buy? Because you've got everything, you've got 15 years collection. What mm. do you still need to buy to, 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 for your Spice Girls collection? Uh, there are bits of some of the mass-produced memorabilia that I haven't got, but very few. I now, as we were talking earlier, trawling through eBay, there's very little now that I see that I think, oh, I haven't got that. Um, it would be the dream to have five costumes that all, four, uh, all five girls wore at the same time. Um, right. That's what I'm going for. Or, of course, the Union Jack dress. Now, who's got the Union Jack dress? This is Jerry, Jerry of course. Who's got the Union Jack dress? Um, the Hard Rock Cafe in Las Vegas have it in storage. Right. They don't even have it on display, which is rather upsetting for me. Do you think they will ever... They'll never sell that, will they? No, I wouldn't have thought so. Um, a collection like that is going to stay in, you know, in a vault somewhere, um, which is disappointing because, of course, I'm exhibiting my collection for fans to see, so... What a great opportunity for people to see it, and it's so iconic as well. And whereabouts is your collection on, on view? Uh, there's a small part of it on display at Victoria Gallery and Museum, which is at the University of Liverpool, mm-hmm. and that's on till the 17th of December. But it is just a few Spice Girl items, but it's predominantly Mel C um, outfits, yeah. with her being 
Liverpool, so I'm afraid for Sheffield people, it's a quick jaunt across the Pennines. Well, Liz, thanks very much indeed for talking to us about it this morning. That's Liz West. She's got the world's largest collection of Spice Girls memorabilia. This is just great. Audible one four two seven nine double six double nine.